It's day three of slow cooker crockpot ideas. I'm making sticky, sweet, and savory honey soy glazed chicken thighs. This is going to be good. Here we go. So today I'm going with my honey soy chicken thighs in the slow cooker. I have three pounds of bone-in skin on chicken thighs. I've already seasoned uh, the bottom part of the chicken thighs and I place them here in my slow cooker. So now I am going to go over with garlic powder, some Montreal chicken seasoning. I love using this. You don't have to. You could just do like salt and pepper if that's what you've got. And my onion powder. Okay. Now I'm going to make the sauce for this. I already have half a cup of low sodium chicken broth. So to that, I'm going to add hoisin sauce. I like to eyeball things, but for the sake of giving you a recipe, let's go with about three tablespoons of hoisin sauce, going with some dark soy sauce. Yeah, a tablespoon and a half of dark soy sauce. I'm gonna go with just a tablespoon of regular light soy sauce. I like a little bit of spice, so I'm going with some hot pepper powder, Korean hot pepper powder, just to shake. You can omit that. I'd say like, I added like a quarter of a teaspoon to mine. Some cracked black pepper. I'm gonna start with two tablespoons of light brown sugar. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. Oh, this is good. So now what I'm going to do is add cornstarch. This is going to, whoops, thicken the sauce as it cooks. Remember, those chicken thighs are going to render natural chicken juices or like broth, and it'll render its natural fat, but I want everything to thicken. Okay, so I think a whisk will get these lumps out. You wanna make sure. And the chicken broth was room temperature. If you're working with hot liquids and you add cornstarch to it, it's gonna get all clumpy. So room temperature to cold, cold liquids. Okay, now it's where I need it to be, great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just pour this all over my chicken thighs. Smells amazing. Now, I'm just going to drizzle over honey over the chicken thighs. I'd say about a tablespoon or so. I'm going over with garlic powder. <laughs> Onion powder, my son's happy. I'm going to go with a little bit, again, of these red pepper powder. There we go. Cracked black pepper. We're going to cover with a lid, set it to high, and let this cook on high. It's going to take two to three hours. I'll probably check it like at the two and a half hour mark. Uh, these were thawed and I removed the chill from them, so it might may take less time. I always say cook time varies depending on the uh, temperature of the meat that you start with. If it's super cold, it might take longer, but let that go for three hours. Okay, so it has been two and a half hours. I'm still gonna let it cook, but I want to remove some of this rendered fat off the top. Okay, so I want you to see the sauce and you can start just getting some of that sauce from the bottom mixing it around. See how it's already thickened? I'm gonna let it continue cooking for another 30 minutes 
and it should be done. And I'll show you how I'm gonna garnish it. And I'm serving this over steamed rice. Okay. Okay, and I want to show you, I'm gonna garnish with roasted sesame seeds. These are actually crushed. And some fresh scallion. Gotta be good. I also like to serve with cucumber slices in the bowl. Okay. This is done. So I'm gonna garnish with my sesame seeds on top, a bunch of fresh scallion, and actually, let me do this first. I do want to get a little bit of that sauce, and look at that. See how the sauce has thickened? It's so great. Over rice, it's going to be good. And actually, now that I've kind of doused everything with the sauce, I'll go over with a little more crushed red pepper flake. But I want you to see. Let's get a closer look. The sauce is so good. Now, what I'll do, a little more, just a little. My green scallion, first of all, I love fresh scallion tops. So good. And ta-da, another slow cooker crock pot meal going on rice. I could eat this chicken just by itself, it's so good. Okay, so here I have my rice, and I'm gonna add, add my chicken thighs and ladle over that sauce. A little bit of scallion, a shake of my toasted sesame seeds, and then I got my cucumber slices. There we go. Am I doing good? There. <laughs> and here's dinner. So what I'm gonna show you is how tender this is. Okay, let's dig in. Fork tender, chicken thighs, steamed rice, this sauce. Oh, so good. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.